All right, guys, it is water time. Um, we come to town to the fairgrounds to get water for living, drinking, bathing, washing, everything. And so I want to show you the little setup that we have. This is how we get water. <laughs> These are our totes right here. This one we fill up and then we drain it into the one at home. And this, the fairgrounds here have this really convenient setup. And so we just open her up and run it in and it takes less than five minutes really to fill 300 and some odd gallons of water. 325. 325 gallons. So we usually come to town once a week. We try to do it on a Wednesday or a Sunday when we're already coming into town to um, go to Bible class and worship. Sometimes occasionally we'll come out here on a Saturday, but it is free of charge to come here and to get water. <laughs> Tux <laughs> went up to that and started moving it. What did you do, Tux? <laughs> he put his paw on that and it started rotating and startled him. Are you scared of it? No, you're not scared of it. You silly, you silly booby. <laughs> He's a good boy. Wow, look at that. Okay, we're almost... We're almost full. We got less than a square. See, you can see it really easily, the water line. And Marty, he does a really good job of not getting wet. We've had a lot of practice. <laughs> but, okay, so I just take this and shut it off and try not to get wet. Ooh. All right, stand back. <laughs> Gotta let the rest of it come out, and then we'll pop it off. Did you get wet today? Uh, nope. Just my shoes a little tiny bit. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Fast. Yeah. Like, I'd say less than five minutes. Yeah, that's what I said, too. Yeah. Look at the sky tonight. Wow, it's just beautiful. Cool. It's really Mountains. nice that the county provides water for people that don't have water in their property. Yeah, it's awesome. Then we just bring the water home and we hook this hose right here onto the valve and we connect it up. And we run it over here to the tank right, that we have our pump on that provides our homestead here with water. And so gravity will feed most of that water into this tank, but it won't do it all. So later we'll kind of hook the pump up a little bit differently. Let me show you the pump. This guys is our water pump. And so it does 2.2 uh, gallons per minute at uh, uses 12 volts. As you know, our solar system is 24 volts. So we use this little converter right here. Got it off of Amazon, super cheap, but it has been working great. It takes the 24 volts, huh, look at that. That's not supposed to happen. It takes the 24 volts coming in from the batteries and then it runs it up through here, which comes around, goes through the pressure, the pressure switch right here, and then back to the converter, converts 24 volts to 12 volts right here, which then powers the pump. And we did it that way so that the converter isn't just sitting there always using a little bit of electricity, like a phantom load, right? So we actually, use the pressure switch to control the 24 volts, not the 12 volts for the pump. So the pump takes in water through this hose, which comes down here off of the bottom of the tank, up to the pump. And then from here, we've got a Y. So one, the gray hose goes over here to the kitchen and the green hose goes over to the bathroom. Let me show you what uh, how that works. So we've got the kitchen over here and right here, just on the tree, we've got another Y set up where you can turn on the water. And um, we hooked up this, you might be wondering what that is. It's actually just a little plastic grocery bag, but when you just crack this, it sprays out like a mist and it gets you wet and it, you can't really use the water. But if you just want a little bit of water, then it hits this plastic and then it just comes out real slow and nice. So that is how we use the water for the kitchen. Now, 
We're back at the tank. We're following the green hose over here. This is our outdoor bathroom. Call it outdoors, but I mean, it's in a tent. If it's like this, is it still outdoors? Well, maybe it's like a half and half, right? Check this out. See, so it's not enclosed all the way, right? Partially unclosed, where you are fully unclothed. Um, so this is the bathroom. Shower right here. Um, propane hot water heater on demand. Works really good. The thing will like get blistering hot. So we only have it turned up part way. This is a normal setting that we'll have it at and it will go all the way over to here. All right, so like less than half on that. It just runs on these little propane bottles right here. Turn on the gas, turn on the water. It's burning, it's lit, right? It's going, I don't know if, yeah, you can see the flames in there. So it's going, we're making hot water. Right now we're up to 37 degrees, 40 degrees. Right, and the water is oh so nice and toasty warm. That's in Celsius, not uh, Fahrenheit. So yeah, super nice. Maybe you're wondering why we have the water valve down here instead of using it up here as it's intended. We did it this way so that we don't always have water pressure. We have 60 pounds of water pressure always sitting in the hot water heater, right? So we control it down here and I think it's just going to help the water heater last longer if it's not always under constant pressure. That would be constant pressure in the tank, through the hose, all the way up to the shower head. I just think it was gonna work better that way. All right, washing machine and toilet, right? So let's walk through the wall. Garden hose coming from that tank. Coming through over here, right? And then I just have a T right here, goes to the toilet. And then another T right here, which goes up to the washing machine and then continues on to the shower where you just saw it. Well, it looks like gravity has done about all that it's going to do. So let me show you how we actually use the pump to transfer the rest of that water over there into this tank right here. So this is all we got to do. Let's go ahead and take all this plastic off. This plastic right here, it's really just to uh, keep the rain off the motor. First thing we're gonna do is turn this guy off. Then we're gonna come up here and we're going to disconnect this hose. Like that. Then we're gonna take our yellow one. Well, it's still going a little bit actually. But I'll show you here how we do it. Okay. So then we take this yellow hose right here and we just hook it up to here. This is the inlet for the pump. And we just turn the pump a little bit, pull on these guys, see we're gonna take off, turn this off. All right, so turn off the kitchen one, go ahead and unscrew it. It's gonna spray a little bit because there's pressure in the hose. We go all right then we're going to move the pump right over like this there we go that's <laughs> vibrating a bit there so now we're sucking water from the tank over here through the yellow hose through the pump and into the tank and that's how we can transfer that remaining bit that's over there into this tank without using gravity. And all of that guys is being powered by the sun. We've got four solar panels up there. And then inside here is all of our solar equipment. There will be a video coming out soon about all of that. I will share that with you later. This video is about water. If you have any questions about our water system, put them down in the comments below. I would love to answer them. And if you'd like to see how we actually built our whole outdoor bathroom, there is a video right over here you can go ahead and watch. I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.